I've got Layla. Layla's our application engineer. Cy manages our uh, basically our product manager at Crane. So really what I want to do today and what HR wanted me to do today was come across town and show you some of the hard work that you guys are doing every day in regards to building product that's out in the field making a difference. This pump right here, our side chopper, we will be approaching 400 pieces sold this year. That's outstanding. Last year in 2018, we had 150 choppers sold. All of 2018, you see the ramp up. Everybody that works on this pump and the cells, you see it. There's a lot more of these orders coming through. Eric sees it. I talk to Eric all the time about the forecast of this product. Doing very well. So we're going to end up over 400 pieces this year, and it's due to a lot of hard work by everybody here, and we greatly appreciate it. This product ends up in a lot of municipalities, commercial buildings, lift stations, prisons, uh, hog farms, you name it. Wherever there's any type of possible clogging, this pump tears it up and passes it down the waste stream. The last thing you want, whether it be the municipality, at your house, or wherever, is a clogged pump. How efficient is a clogged pump? Not very efficient. You're going to have issues at your house. This pump takes care of a lot of issues that's out in our, uh, out in our waste stream and even in clean water. So, um, you know, we'll just go through it real quick. As you, everybody knows, plug and play cord. Very advantageous out in the field. This makes it easy for our customers to service the pump, pull it up, possibly even change out the blades. Very important. This makes a huge difference out in the marketplace, believe me. I don't have the lifting bale here, but as everybody knows, the large lifting bale. If you've seen any of our competition's pumps, they have little eye hooks or a small little lifting bale. Having a large lifting bale makes a huge difference for the municipalities and the service contractors to go out and pull the pump up and service it. All right. These are 3D printed, so you can touch them. But as you know, we've got a stationary, and we've also got a moving plate here. Very sharp, very sharp. Those that are working on this pump in the cell know you've got to be very careful. Blades, extremely sharp. You touch your fingers in a heartbeat. I believe in the cell we've got class five gloves. There's a lot of safety precautions around this. I believe the uh, product still comes across in a sort of a case or a kit your guys protection but we needed that sharp out in the field to tear up the material that goes through here you'll see everything from small animals to pillows to diapers to sticks to shivs to animal parts we have these at a lot of uh, you know as i said meat grinding facilities um, where we're you know basically tearing stuff up so very important one be very sharp also the clearances have to be very tight so when you're building these pumps, it's very important when this product leaves here that it's the tolerances have got to be within the, the tolerances that we've set of 1 1,000s to 8 1,000s, 8, okay? If that gap gets too big, if that gap gets too big, and I'm exaggerating a bit here, but if that gap gets too big, what's going to happen? Material's going to get in between there and cause this pump to clog. That's why when you build them, you need them to be extremely tight and close. All right. Shim kits, very important on the field. If there happens to be the uh, you know separation or shim kits, then the customer can go out and re-shim the pump, 15 to 20 minutes, be back in the ground. Competitors pump, you can't do it that quick. And as well, send out class five gloves. As you guys know, if you're working on a cell, you got to have those type of gloves to be able to work on the product. I'll pass this around, but this is something that we send to each of our channel partners. It's just for them to see the type of cutting that this does. Does anybody know what size, material size that we're trying to cut material goes through this pump, whether it be a t-shirt, a tennis ball, a baseball bat? Anybody know? All right, one to three inches. One to three inches. All right, one to three inches allows the product to pass through the pump as well downstream and also not get stuck in any valves or anything like that. So that's why Blades need to be sharp, and you want it to cut very small pieces. Just something to pass around real quick. All right. Um, yeah, demos. So you might be wondering, truck trailer right here, this year is going to do 300 demos across the U.S. 300 different municipalities, engineering firms, whether it be at a trade show or whatever. 300 demos. That's outstanding. That's a lot of eyes on the product, that means there's going to be a lot of business for this company and you folks to be building products. 
We've got another truck and trailer that we just bought and built. It's already in Oklahoma. This is our original truck and trailer that we came out with last year. We're gonna do 600 demos next year. And what we have found is about 20% of the time when we do these demos, we get a pump order. So that means we're gonna see about 300 pump orders next year just from the trailers alone. Just from these being out on the road. That doesn't include my RSMs out doing demos, talking about the product, trade shows, doing lunch and learns. A lot of business coming. You guys are wondering how busy you're gonna be in site S8 cells? This is where it's at. This is where it's at. That's one of the reasons Eric across town, we're moving some cells over. We've invested in new machines. This is the platform that's gonna take us there, folks. Really good stuff. You guys are doing a great job. Anything else? You guys ready to see some stuff torn up? Yeah. All right, so typically in a demo, we go through a little bit more in depth, but this was a high level just for you. We start putting stuff through. What, what you'll see here is we got a pantyhose. I know it's uh, really, really super awesome, but that's what we use to catch all the material after we've chopped it all. We'll bring it out here, we'll cut open the pantyhose, and you'll see all the material cut one to three inches. It only goes to the what. So we fire it up, and we'll start tearing stuff up. Just real quick, this is a seven and a half horsepower, four inch DG. Four inch DG, seven and a half horsepower. Now, as you can imagine, when we're out doing these demos, we'll get some folks that are, you know, the service people, they'll start, they'll say, hey, can, can I chop up my sweatshirt? Can I take off my hat? Can I take off my jacket? And I've even had one guy in Detroit ask me, hey, will this thing chop up by uh, one of those like Walmart pushing parts? We found a pushing part in the station. Won't chop up a uh, like a little car, but we can chop up a lot. Okay, we can chop up a lot and do a very good job. So I'll turn it over to the side and he'll start chopping some things up and we'll pull it out and show you guys and uh at the end that's it. So we have some items here. Uh, you know, these are common items that are typically found in a wastewater stream, especially municipal streams. Like you know, people throwing like you know, people just clean the countertops and then they just throw it in the garbage, they they just throw it in the drain. Uh, you know, people throwing, you know, uh, Car sponges, like they just wash the car, they just throw it down the drain. Mop heads, underwear, underwear, <laughs> like especially spools, rope, yeah, ropes, and you have some hot stuff too. Yeah, yeah. These are things that when we talk to customers, they say they've unclogged a pump with this stuff in it. So that's why we chop it. You ready to see all the magic? buildings where this pump is those guys go in just like at our building they clean our facility every night you'd be surprised they don't do it at ours I suspect but out in the marketplace they'll throw a mop head in so I'll go through chopped up we 
plus some torn our uh, pantyhose there. Yeah. <laughs> That's always fun to clean up now. <laughs> That's not, that's not, what is so typically after we do one of these uh, the pantyhose will not uh, typically rip but it has it does happen and um, let's go ahead and cut this and bring out what we can and show everybody that so you know we actually kind of simulated what happens in a wastewater plant because these are the screens that catch all the solids and this is a one inch to three inch that Derek was talking about. Yeah, if you got any questions or if you want to go out and take a look, like I said, uh, typically I don't like seeing this because now we got